Welcome to FreshMaya.com. My name is Eric and I'm going to show you how to use the visor to import objects into your scene from a library of objects. First thing you need is a library to choose from, basically a directory of folders and subfolders that organize all of your Maya files. So for example, I just put a folder on my desktop called Objects and inside that folder I just created some subfolders one for airplanes, another one for cars, characters, electronics, plants, primitives, and trees. So like in this airplanes folder, I might have several different models of airplanes in there. Might have several different models of cars in my cars folder and so forth. We're going to do this one called primitives just for this tutorial because it'd be very simple and easy to create some primitives. Inside this primitives folder, I went ahead and created a cube and a cylinder and I saved those as two different files. All right, I'm going to close this out. If I wanted to import, say, that cube, I go up to my file menu, go down to import, then I can navigate to my desktop, I can go to objects, primitives, and there's our two files. I can select my cube and import, and it imports our cube into our scene. All right, an easier way and a better method is using the visor. Right now, if I go up to Windows, General Editors to over to Visor. We would have to kind of navigate through all this, but we can create a tab. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Under the Tab menu, you'll want to create a new tab. You'll want to give it a name. So I'm going to go ahead and name mine Objects. Or I'll just type it Library of Objects. So you can name your tabs anything you want. I'm going to change the tab type from scene to disk. Now it's going to ask for a root directory, so you need to navigate to where your folders are. I'm going to click on the button to the far right that has a picture of a folder. I'm going to navigate to my desktop, and there's our objects folder that I created. Click OK. If I want to hide the directory tree, I can put it, I can check mark that. I'm going to leave mine unchecked, and I'm going to create or click on create. Now if you look in our visor we have a new tab called library of objects and if I click on that tab you'll see all these subfolders that we created. It's airplanes, cars, characters, electronics, plants, primitives, and trees. If I click on the primitives folder you'll see the two files that I created. So there's the cube that we created and the cylinder. So now if I want to I can import this cube into our scene. So I can just right click on the uh, cube file and select import my file. And there's our cube imported into our scene. Now the problem with this, even though this will show all the different stuff that we model in Maya, the problem is I can't look at this and tell what these look like. So like the cylinder over here, I don't know how short the cylinder is or how tall the cylinder is. So all I know is that it's a file that has a cylinder in it. What we want to do is we want to cre uh, create a picture representation to replace the Maya logo that we're seeing here. And the way we do that is we want to create a subfolder that has what's called swatch files or swatch images. And what Maya will do is Maya will use those images to replace these logos. All right, so how do we do that? First, we need a picture representation of these files. And the easiest way to do that is just to do a render. Your rendering can be as simple or as complex as you want it to be. You can save it as a JPEG or PNG or TIFF file, just whatever kind of file type you want to save it as. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, cube. I don't want to import this cube. I want to open up a cube. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up our cube file. I'm going to go ahead and do a render of it. Now let's change the background to white so we can see our cube a little better. So view, camera attribute editor, go down to environment, and make it white, re-render it. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here. All right, I'm going to save this file as a JPEG. Go to my desktop. Now it's going to be a lot easier if you put it in the same folder that your file is in. So since my file is in my objects and then primitives folder, I'm going to put it in there and let's just call this cube render. 
save. I'm also going to open up the cylinder file, do a render of it, kind of zoom in here, change our background color, render it out, and I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Make sure I go to the same folder that the file's in, just makes it much easier. I'm going to name this one Cylinder Render. Alright, let me go ahead and just clear all that out of Maya. Now, if we look at our folder, Objects, Primitives, we have our files and we have a picture representation of what those files are. And basically they're just JPEG renders is all I did. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to cr change these into swatch images because right now they're JPEG images. We need to change these to swatch images and then put them in a subfolder called Maya Swatches. And then what Maya will do is Maya is going to replace those default logos with those images. All right, so how do we change these JPEGs to swatch images? Well, the easiest way to do it is open up Maya, open up our visor, go back to our library tab, go down to our primitives and you'll see our files and then you'll see our JPEG images. Now we could leave it like this but it'd be a lot better if our file had a picture of a box or the cube rather than having a file and a JPEG picture of the box. So what I'm going to do is with our primitives folder selected we've got two images there, two JPEGs, a cube and a cylinder. I don't need to select them but I'm going to go up to the tabs menu go down to current tab options and at the very bottom you'll see generate swatch files for current images. So when I click that Maya is going to generate swatch files for those two JPEGs. So I'm going to click it and now even though we didn't see anything happen if we go back to our primitives folder you'll see we have a subfolder now called .maya swatches and inside there we have two swatch images. Let me change this to details well, I guess it doesn't show it there, but if I click on it and you look down here at the bottom, you'll see it says swatch image file. Even though it says the name of the file is .jpg for JPEG, it's not a JPEG file. It's a swatch image file. All right, let me go back into Maya. Let me just click on trees, back to primitives. They're still separate, and that's because we haven't, we have to do one more step. Our swatch files need to be named exactly the same as our regular files are. We don't need these JPEGs anymore so let's go ahead and delete those. I'm going to go back into our primitives folder and I'm just going to delete these two renders just to get them out of there. Go back into our visor and you see now we just have the it just shows the files. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into our swatches folder and if you look in Maya my cube file is named cube.mb. So my swatch image needs to be named exactly the same. Let me rename and I'm going to name it cube.mb. So now my swatch file is named exactly the same as our Maya file. So now if we go into Maya, let me reselect that, you'll see our cube file, instead of having the Maya logo, it now is replaced with that swatch image. All right, for the cylinder, the cylinder is named cylinder.mb for the file, so the image needs to be named exactly the same. So cylinder.mb. So now if we go back into Maya, reselect our folder, and now our cylinder file, the logo is replaced with our picture.